Question, the member from London West. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Speaker, there is a province-wide crisis in student mental health that this government continues to ignore. Between 2012 and 2015, Algoma University had to increase its mental health counselling budget by 133 per cent, even as enrolment was declining. At Georgian College, there was a 211 per cent jump in the number of counselling appointments between 2013 and 16. At the University of Toronto, there was a 143 per cent increase in the number of students receiving mental health accommodations between 2009 and 2016. The additional $6 million this year for campus mental health to be shared by 24 colleges and 20 universities is a drop in the bucket compared to the explosion in the need. Speaker, instead of one-offs, when will this Liberal government implement Question. a comprehensive long-term strategy engaging both campuses and communities? to deal with this urgent crisis. Thank you. Minister of Advanced Education and Skills Development. Minister of Advanced Education and Training. Well, thank you, Speaker, and thank you for this question because it is a very important one. And I could tell you as I travel the province, as I meet with students, student groups, the number one issue that I hear about is, uh, is about mental health. There's no question that demand for mental health services is growing. And that's exactly why, Speaker, in this last budget, which the member opposite voted against, sadly, included a 60 per cent increase in funding for campus mental health support, six Speaker. Zero. That is a 6 zero incre percent increase because, Speaker, we need to be there. When students, uh, when students are faced with challenges, when they want some help with their mental health, we need to be there. I have to say that I did this announcement with the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care at the University of Toronto, and it was extremely well received. Answer. Extremely well received. Thank you, Speaker. This week, I met with both Colleges Ontario and Council of Ontario Universities, who told me that this government's lack of action is forcing colleges and universities to become mental health providers as well as educational institutions. Many of the 12,000 children and youth who are waiting in Ontario for mental health services are only able to access supports once they get to post-secondary. But without adequate resources on campus, many schools feel that they have no choice but to farm out support services to private contractors, something McMaster University psychi psychiatrist Dr. Catherine, Catherine Munn says will be a disaster for students. Speaker, we don't expect post-secondary institutions to treat physical illness. Why does this Liberal government expect them to treat mental illness? Thank you. Well, yes, Speaker, let me repeat. This budget contains a 60 per cent increase. The member from Kitchener-Waterloo is warned. Carry on. Six, uh, speaker, a 60 per cent increase in funding that is earmarked for campus mental health. But that is not the full extent of the investments that we're making, Speaker. Uh, we're expanding access to psychotherapy ser services while developing a new province-wide publicly funded psychotherapy program to help people, including students, living with conditions such as anxiety and depression. We're supporting up to nine integrated youth service hubs to provide young people with walk-in, one-stop access to mental health, which, as the member opposite knows, is, a, is in great demand because those students are using the services at Answer. the hub. This will be a youth-focused um, uh, service for mental, people with mental health and addictions, as well as other supports under one roof, Speaker. Thank you. And free prescription medications for people 25.